Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Marlon Chico Dera! Ready fight. Ready. Good. All right, this round is officially underway, and there is the Ecuadorian Marlon Chico Vera, the emerging fan favorite and UFC Bantamweight contender. This is the most decorated finisher in the illustrious history of the UFC Bantamweight division, and he all but guaranteed in our fighter meeting this week, judges will not be needed at the end of this one. Vera's head kick is blocked, no damage there. Nice straight left hand. Oh, my kick. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Nice jab by Chudo. Oh, no feeling that process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Oh, good knee. Strong straight left there. Oh, timely hook. He's a big shot. Big combination. Nice number two. And he's back up. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Oh, collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the end of it. He is going to start to drive these over and over. you got to be careful here. you got to move. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the tap. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. He's got him in the clinch once again. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, nice elbow. I mean, technically, this would be a flying triangle if you could finish him here. A flying triangle. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, nice punch there in the clutch. Oh, nice combination. Yeah. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with his with absolute power. It, not, it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button, it will not do any damage. Oh, and he caught the hit. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. That's just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Just misses with the straight right. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Vera's now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Upper cut to the head. Oh, big head kick there. Back in the clinch. 
Let's see what he does now. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Beautiful submission attempt here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon of the show in that defense. Oh, oh, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best rounds of the year. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Vera's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's All right, let's get to rounds here. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Big knee. Well... Continue to land. Attempting an on ball here. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, full submission attempts and bunches. Another one here. Oh, compromising spot here. Just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent into the hole as the tide turns here. And he's back up. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to... That flying knee to the head landing. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Vera's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, nice right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, perfectly done as he gets the takedown. Oh, what do we got here? It looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. That great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Cheeto gets back up again. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, fighter lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Another clinch position. An elbow! <laughs> Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Clinch work. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Pretty good head kick there. Oh, okay. yes. Plants a nice one, too. Shudo goes for the takedown, and now he gets it. So a nice transition there after he got stunned on the feet. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this. Vera's going for the sub here. It's tight. Submission and pops right back up. 
Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, high-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Cheeto. Oh, get the cut man ready. Good series of elbows there. Oh, yeah, he's got his work cut out for him. He is tearing this guy apart with those elbows. Business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stage. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Vera's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. 20 seconds to go round two. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, he engages in the single collar tie. Tags him with that uppercut. Two oh. rounds in the books. Oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, doing work with the jab. He's got that single collar tie. Nice body shot. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Big Daddy. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win,